it's Sonya Lene and welcome back to my channel. Today is Married Life Monday and we have not been here in a while y'all. We haven't done Married Life Monday in months so I'm so excited to be back. Y'all know I joined the Mookbang community so during Married Life Monday today we are going to have some popcorn because this subject is juicy. I'm excited, y'all. I'm so excited to be back doing Married Life Monday. Y'all know this is my passion. All right, so I'm gonna need y'all to get y'all popcorn and then go ahead and get your glass. Now, what we're gonna make a deal. You don't ask me what's in my glass, I won't ask you what's in yours, okay? Everybody go mind their business around here, okay? All right, so anyway, before I get started with our topic, I want to say, Thank you guys for hanging out with me and sticking around. I didn't you I didn't lose too many subscribers while I was gone. I know that when you are gone, gone for a while, especially when you go a month or two without uploading, I know you lose people. And so thank you guys so much for just hanging out with me and sticking in there with me because I'm back, back, y'all. Anyway, I'm so excited. Well, 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 well. We're going to get into this today, y'all. Ooh. Honey, it's kind of juicy on today. And we're going to pray. Father, thank you. Whew. Help us. Because we're going to need it. All right, in Jesus' name, amen. <laughs> Anyway, so I'm going to eat my popcorn while we talk, but before I get started, go ahead and subscribe. If you are new to the channel, welcome. Welcome. And if you're not new to the channel and you are returning, welcome back. All right? All right, so today we're talking about, and if y'all don't like the smacking, I'm so sorry, but who eat popcorn? Kettle corn. Kettle corn. All right, but anyway, we're going to talk about this. Um, I ran across a post on one of my social medias. I'm not going to say any names because it was on a public post. I don't know if they want me to read this on my channel or not. They'll talk, they'll talk about me later, but I'm going to read it, okay? And I'm not going to say whose post it was or anything like that, but I want to talk a dog on about it, okay? All right, so I'm going to read the post and then I'm gonna get into how I feel about it okay all right so the post says the title of the post is my wife does not know that I know that's already bad that's already bad okay anyway it says I've been married for 14 years we have three kids all boys but none of them belong to me. I know this for a fact, but my wife does not know that I know. Let me explain. Explain, brother. I'm gonna need for you to explain. Anyway, five years before I met my wife, I was involved in a car accident together with two of my friends. We were traveling from Lagos and our car skipped off the road. I was the only survivor of the accident. My friends died. That's sad. I spent about 11 months at the hospital, and that left me with a condition that says I can't have children. I gave my life to Jesus Christ and became a committed Christian after the incident. In summary, I became a pastor in a local church in my community five years later and met my wife in the process. I did not tell her about my condition because I was hopeful that God would heal me. I ain't gonna, I'm just going to finish reading, then I'm going to say what I got to say. Okay, where, where did I live? I was hopeful. Okay, six years into our marriage, my wife got pregnant and had our first child. To be sure, I secretly went for a DNA and it was clear I wasn't the father. I repeated the test for all three children, and they are all 
not mine. I've been living with this situation for the past eight years and I am beginning to get irritated by both the children and my wife. My wife pretends to be a good wife. She goes around preaching to young women in the church about the need to remain faithful to their partner. But she has had three children by another man or men, I don't know. I wanna confront her, but I am confused as to how to go about the situation. I'm just angry and irritated by everyone in my house lately. I feel like a total stranger in my own home. What should I do? All right. I don't know who to start with first. Because in my opinion, y'all drop down in the comments and let me know. Y'all know y'all free to give y'all opinions around here. In my opinion, everybody wrong but the children. The children didn't ask to be here. They ain't asked. They, they. You know, they ain't bothered nobody. They ain't did nothing to nobody. They didn't wrong anyone. So, let's start with the, I was going to say, let's start with the hoe first. But let's start with the wife first, okay? Because I'm not going to, I ain't going to be mean and call names. But she was good and hoeing around, okay? Let's start with her. Well, I don't know if I can start with her because I, I want to start with him first because he was dead doggone wrong for marrying that woman and didn't tell her that he couldn't have children. Okay. He was dead doggone wrong. Talking about some, he didn't tell her in hopes that God would heal him. Okay. This is what I feel about that. When we are married and we are in a relationship, honey, two prayers is better than one. Okay, if you praying for God to heal you, I can pray for God to heal you too. Okay, it's strength in numbers. So why in the world would you not tell me the woman that you love, the woman that you married, the woman that you want to spend the rest of your life with, that you can't have children? I think that's so deceitful anyway when you get married to somebody and not let them know whether you can or cannot have children if you know it. It's not right. It ain't right. Let me make the decision whether I want to be with somebody that can't have kids. Because I might want them really bad. Okay? So he was dead doggone wrong for that. He shouldn't have never married her without letting her know what his situation was. We have to be open and honest in our relationships if we plan to marry somebody. And he was not honest. Pastor. Okay, but anyway, so he didn't tell her he was gonna, uh, that he didn't tell her that he couldn't have children. First wrong move. Then, he got a DNA test on the children and didn't tell her. After the first child didn't, I mean, did nothing spark up in you? Okay, you already didn't tell her you couldn't have children. Then you you get a DNA test on the first child and you find out, okay, this child really ain't mine. You still don't say nothing? I want to know what she was doing for you that was so good that you couldn't live without, that you felt like you had to keep her around. Knowing that her child wasn't yours. Or you felt like you couldn't talk to her. And let her know that you knew that the child was not yours. Sir, you're dead doggone wrong. Now, I'm not excusing what mama did because she was wrong too. She was out in these streets getting her thought on. First lady was getting it on. Got three kids and they ain't her husband. First lady, what you been doing? Where you be at? Who paying your bills? Not the past. <laughs> Who cares is them, girl? Anyway, so she was dead doggone wrong for being out here home and fighting around. But he didn't say nothing. I want to know why he didn't say nothing. I don't know. 
I'm gonna have to take a drink. Y'all know this ain't alcohol because I drank it too fast. But anyway, um, I wanna, I, I, I really wanna dig deeper and find out why he didn't say anything to her concerning um her cheating uh before they had three children now he don't want the kids oh i'm frustrated with the kids and my wife i'm i just feel like i'm alone i feel like a stranger in my own house you did it to yourself sir and i hate to say that because i kind of do feel sorry for you but i kind of don't because if you want to talk about who was deceitful first it was you. It was you, boo. It was you, pastor. It was you. You lied first. And she probably she probably been lying through the whole... She have been lying through the whole relationship. Both of y'all been lying. Both of y'all are deceitful. Both of y'all... I don't know how y'all ended up with a church being this deceitful. But now that you got it, you got a responsibility to come clean and be honest, number one, with each other. First with yourselves, because y'all been lying to your doggone self. But it's obvious y'all need to sit back in and, and let somebody teach y'all. Y'all don't need to be pastoring. Y'all don't need to have a whole lot of people following y'all. Because if y'all got people following in those footsteps that are not ordered by the Lord because they can't be because y'all tipping and dipping and lying and all that it's it's not it's not working <laughs> it's not work I'm, I'm telling y'all if my husband if I found out that my husband could not have children after we got married I love him I love him y'all but for those of you who've been watching Married Life Monday from day one, y'all know that when I can't trust you, I can't trust you. And although I love him, I wouldn't put him through um, my trust issues. I would have to leave. We got to break up. We got to break up. You want to know why? I can't try. I'm, I'm going to question everything you do. And that's not fair to neither one of us. It's not fair to neither one. Everybody's different. Some people can just forgive and move on. I can forgive and move on, but we can't be together. Because I can't trust you. I just can't. This popcorn good. But this story even juicier. What y'all think? Okay, let me ask y'all a question. Let me ask y'all a question. Would y'all just keep silent and stay with somebody that you know is constantly cheating back to back? And you know it because you, you know, not because you got a DNA test on the kids. Because I feel like they should have done that together. I mean, they would they just didn't know each other. How y'all that married? Y'all that y'all been together all them years. And y'all six years into the marriage when she had the first baby. And they got three kids. So they been married for a while. How y'all stay together all the time? Y'all don't know each other. Y'all don't know nothing. Y'all don't know the first thing about each other. That's sad. That's sad, Pastor and First Lady. It's sad. And then y'all got a flock. How many people in y'all church? I hope y'all got a little bit of church. That way, y'all don't have that too much blood on your hands. Because right now you got some. It's not working out for you. Surrender your minister's license. And get somewhere and sit down. And let somebody teach you something. Then you can get your church back. Because it's not working out. I'm so disappointed that y'all stayed together. I, no. Yeah. I'm disappointed in the man first. 
And then I'm disappointed in the woman because not only did you marry a man that you felt like you loved and you really wanted to be with, you dogged him out. You had three kids on this man. How many baby daddies you got, first lady? I don't know. How many baby daddies do you have? Oh, I wish I knew. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, I wish I could reach out to these people. But I'm not. Well, I could. I could reach out to them. That would be good. What y'all think? Y'all think I should reach out? Because now that he's frustrated, he's asking, what should I do? Now that what's frustrating him? Because you stay, bruh. So let me tell you what I think. And this is just my opinion. Don't come for me. When a person deals with somebody else's mess for a long time, they kind of just get stuck in it. Until somebody else come along and point it out and just be like, mm, she did wrong. You should be with her. Da, 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 da. So it's somebody talking to the pastor. Could it be another woman? I think it's another woman. I think it's another woman because we point those things out. We see. We see very clearly. <laughs> Especially when it ain't our city. We see very clearly when somebody else is going through something, when somebody else is not being smart. Yeah. Oh, excuse me. We can see it. Ooh, that's good. We know. So I think it's another woman, y'all. What y'all think? Either it's another woman or he is actually beginning to hear from God. But see, here's the thing. It can't be. I don't think it's God. Let me tell you why. He said he's frustrated with the kids. What them kids done did to you? Besides be born and not be yours. You could have avoided all of this. And hopefully you have not treated, mistreated those children. Because they do not deserve it. Okay? Deal with your wife. Whatever y'all got to deal with, deal with it. It is not those children's fault. If you are going to leave their mother, you need to do it now. So these kids can heal. You need to tell your wife what all you know. How long you been knowing it. Fix it, pastor. Fix it. First lady, you need to get somewhere and sit down. And then the Lord going to start opening some doors for you when you close your doggone legs. Because you're doing too much. Way too much. I'm so disappointed. Okay, anyway, y'all. I want y'all to drop down in the comments and let me know what y'all feel about this. And if you have a subject that you would like for me to speak on or talk about, go ahead and send me an email at sonyac at gmail.com. Calm, and we can get it in. I'm going to talk about it, honey, because y'all already know I'm not scared. I'm going to talk about it. I'm going to give my opinion. I'm going to let y'all give y'all opinion, because everybody's entitled to their opinion, especially if it's on a public platform. But if you want some advice on something, I am not a licensed marriage counselor, just a woman with a little bit of experience. I've been married almost 13 years, and I am happy, okay? Happily married. And not happily married because everything w went right. I'm happily married because me and my husband decided 
that honesty was the best policy and that we would work it out when we disagree. That's what it's about. That's what it's about. We accept each other's differences. We love each other. All my babies is his. Okay? Just saying, first lady. <laughs> he was wrong. Oh, she was wrong. Oh, so wrong. Y'all, I love y'all. I love y'all so much for sticking with me. Thank y'all for hanging out with me today. Uh, don't forget to like this video. Share it with everybody, okay? Share it all on your social media, okay? And then subscribe if you haven't already. And don't forget to turn on your post notifications so that you can be notified every time I upload a video. And until next time, guys, bye. Monday.